What's up everyone? It's Rock from Rock Shop. If you don't know me, I'm a reseller. Um, and if you like this type of content, please like, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification, hit the bell icon so that whenever I post a video, you can get notified of a new video and fresh information. Um, this is going to be a haul video. I'm going to show you what I picked up yesterday. And um, I did go out a little bit today. I hit like three stores up and I did find some amazing items that I would like to share with you. So let's get into the video and see what we got. Um, some of the stuff I have on hangers already because I already took photos of it and uh, it's either listed or it's in the process of getting listed. So this was a shirt I think I passed up before. I'm not sure why. I think my brain was not functioning that day. Hmm. Okay. This is a Zegna. There's the label. If you're not familiar with the label, try to get a good focus in there. Or Menegilda Zegna. Um, I probably butchered it. I mean, everybody does. Uh, does I think it's Zenya. I think the G may be silent. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Italian. Um, probably made in Italy. It's a large, it's a nice striped shirt. Um, I probably bought it for probably like five bucks so I'm I'm hoping that I can move this for at least anywhere between 30 and 40 35 something like that okay so we're gonna put everything over here I got another chair boom okay so and I picked this up yeah these are the items that are already listed this is a guide series I think it's a pro gear by Wrangler but whenever you see Whenever you see this padding right here, sometimes it'll be on both sides. It'll be here and here. That's a shooting shirt. That's um, like bow and arrow, rifle. It's like padding for maybe for the impact possibly. And it's really cool. It has it has camo on the sleeves. Cam I don't know if it's real tree. It actually is. You can see it. See it right there. Let me see if I can get a good good view of that. It says real tree. It's a real tree. Real tree hard. Is it barwoods? It doesn't matter. But um, I'm not. I don't know if this is a chamois. It's not really a chamois cloth. It's more. It's kind of like denim, almost denim. It's got a pocket. It's in really good condition. There's no stains on it. Um, usually these, depending on the brand, you can get anywhere from 40, 50. It just it depends on what. If it's like an Orvis, there goes my cat. That's Loki. We got Loki, Smokey, and we got Tommy. Tommy boy. I got three fat cats. Um. Anyway, I was just watching a video. It was Thrift Fever. I keep watching him because he's really um, informative. I, I really like his videos. I like to watch people that are actually going to teach me something. And this is not one of the ones. I think it was a Sir Pendleton that he was talking about. I've seen them before. I've never seen this one. This one is a Fireside shirt. It's fitted. I did look up the Fireside. I didn't look up the fitted. So I'm not sure if this is maybe worth more than 30. Maybe 35, 40, something like that. I paid... I paid 475. Not bad not too bad okay so I, I picked up this adidas I think these were in the goodwill I did pick up some hockey stuff like this is this is adidas running this again was this was 525 I did look them up the comps are pretty good on these adidas running jacket I didn't see that it said it says NHLPA golf classic so it's like it's got a lot going on with it I guess it's hockey golf I don't know. It looks like money to me. All right. Okay. That's like like a stretch, dry fit kind of whatever. Um, this was. They are at the community aid. They were doing fifty cent bins. They have they put bins out now. It's kind of like Goodwill bins where you got to dig for stuff. And this little treasure right here. This is really cool. This is actually a collaboration. It's. I believe this is called buffalo plaid this color this black and red you know plaid I think it's called buffalo plaid but it is 
it's a Columbia, but it's a zip, it's a full zip and a button. The sleeves are really short on this. I don't know if this was tailor made and the person had really short sleeves. I, you know, really short arms, I'm sorry. But it is, let me see if we can get that in there. It's an LL Bean. It's, I guess it's some, some sort of collaboration. There we go. Columbia LL Bean. So, I mean, it's really cool. The back is pretty cool. It's like, this is called, um, this is called Sherpa. It's, um, uh, um, Pile, I think it's called. Sherpa Pile. Because it's really thick. So, it's got a really cool little logo on it. Where'd you go? Right there. It's got a really cool logo. I guess that's like the Columbia. It kind of looks like a compass or something, but it's it's got the, the the padding this is um what's this called it's not thermal quilted this is called quilted this is a uh, whenever you see the little diamond inside that's called quilted all right so i don't know what that's worth i'll let you guys know when i when i find out you'll know you know as soon as i know and this was new at tags i did look it up it's vintage Clio. It's I don't think it's a, a really good brand, but it was new with tags and it was only a dollar. So I did pick it up. It's got a $48 tag on it. I mean it's padded. I, I believe that if women don't want the padding they can just cut them out. They're just kind of like they're just held on by a little a little bit of thread and they can just cut them off if they want. But I just thought it was really cool. It kind of has that little Asian kind of Bruce Lee thing going on. Whoa! All right. That's not racist, is it? No, Bruce Lee was Bruce Lee was Chinese, right? All right. Um okay. So you tell me, I don't know. Some of the older ones, different ones. This is um like velvet. It's really cool. I figured for a dollar I'll give it a chance. I'll throw it in my store. Maybe I'll put it in Poshmark too. I'll cross list it. Right now I'm using um, let me see. Let me look real quick. I am using Vendu. It is... Uh, you get 150 item shares a month. And it's like... I think it was 25. I think it's 25 a month. But you can share... it. Each share counts. So if you share it to Poshmark, Mercari, whatever. If you share it to three platforms at once, you have to do them all individually. But each time, maybe I'll do a video about that. I think there's enough videos of it already out there. But um, it's really cool and it's really fast. So it's like cross-listing. You don't have to copy your pictures, snippet tool, none of that crap. It's just boom and it lists. It's really awesome. I love it. It's worth $25. I mean, I've already sold like three items already. I sold um, my Brooks Ghosts that I did a video before about. I picked up three pairs. They were $3 a pair. Um, they were Brooks Ghost 10 and they sold and a couple other items sold so it's already paid for itself for the month so as long if you sell one item 25 or more you're, it pays for itself um, Land's End is a really good brand this is brown um, it's a small 6'8 but um, these actually go for really good money this is a, a down vest and they go for like $35 like not too bad um I think I only paid like five. I already took the tag off of it. I think I paid like five bucks for it. I wouldn't have paid more than that. Maybe six. This was another one that I kind of took a chance on. This was only a dollar. I thought it was really just, you know, really cute. It's kind of like a pea, kind of like a pea coat maybe. Double breast. I think it's a 30. What's it called? 21. Yeah, 30. Way off. 21 not a very good brand that's not why I picked it up it was half off it was only six dollars so I mean well half off of 13 is not six dollars it's 650 but um I thought it was new I think it's a wool blend yeah it's 90 percent polyester and it's 10 percent wool if you can see that it's 10 percent wool so it is a wool blend so that makes it a little bit more desirable because it's warm and it's and it's got that 
again that that like buffalo plaid i think this is like a glen check plaid i think that's what that's glen not check but um glen plaid maybe possibly i'm not sure but or maybe like a tartan plaid or something like there's so many different kinds can you get off my shirt he's laying on my shirt i'm gonna kick his butt it's loki is that loki get off my shirt get off my shirt get you're gonna get hair on my clothes yeah if you have animals you should tell people but i try to keep them away from my clothing i put my clothing in bins so they don't lay on my stuff these what did i pay for these i think they were only five something i have a hard time selling polo even when it's new even the pants i have another pair i think you have to look for styles i usually just grab them and go okay they're gonna sell i, I haven't listed these yet but i do have a pair that is listed and i don't know if they're the hammond pant or if they're something else but definitely an old label i don't know if that's it's not an 80s label. i think the 80s label has enough has the tag right here it has another the size tag i think but um they're brand new i mean so i mean i i figured i i gotta get at least 30 bucks for them so i may have overpaid for them i have polo's not what everybody thinks it is it has to be flashy and big logo and all that crap diet diet try not to show the label okay um what did i pay for this not a lot not a whole lot is the tag on it no but it's a woolrich i think that's that it's definitely an older label it's not okay can we get the get the camera right it's weird because my camera's right it's right there but like i gotta move it i gotta get used to it i think i'm gonna use my phone i don't know why i'm not there's the label it's not made in usa but it is a down and some of the downs can go for pretty good money anywhere from like 40 bucks and up so i'm gonna shoot for like 55 i always list my items a little bit higher um i know that you, everybody has their own way to do things i know that you can um you can list them for what they're supposed to sell for. Nothing ever sells for what it's supposed to sell for. If this item sold three times before I'm going to list it for $45, I'll get $35. Like, that's... Maybe I just have bad luck. I don't know. Or I just give in and take offers. That's why I try to keep my costs down as low as possible. Like, what if I only have a little bit of um, spending, my spending... Uh, what you call it if it's not that much i try to just get things as cheap as possible because that's the type of stuff that happens all right so here i picked this up the other day this is the usa hockey it's a nike i think it's dry it's dry fit and i was like okay the jacket all right and today while i was there this is an extra large Let's see if we can find it really quick there it is. i think that's it right there is that it no that was another another store those are the shoes okay i'll find it someday one of these days got a lot of really cool things i'm gonna try not to take too long it's not in there either it must be in this bag okay where are you at wow yeah, this jacket. I gotta get these out of this bag too because they're gonna get wrinkled. Another one. I got those today. Here it is. Figures it's always it, it was all the way in the bottom of the bag, you know, of course. So when I went in today, I found the pants. So now I have a whole outfit and I have no idea what it's worth. It's probably worth about a hundred dollars. So I mean I probably paid five. These were four seventy five. The jacket was probably around the same. I think jackets are like six dollars, something like that. So I mean, I didn't. I probably paid about ten bucks for the whole outfit, and I think it's it's got to be worth at least eighty dollars. So I have the whole outfit, and it's like brand new. There's no stains on it. There's no snags. It's that dry fit polyester that snags, and I didn't see any anything on it. Picked these up today. We're going to kind of go back and forth with, you know, things that I picked up today and yesterday because now there's a big mess over here. 
whatever. It's going to be a death pile. I'm going to have to list it. I picked these up today. These are corduroy. I'm not sure what these are worth, but I know that they were under $7. So I picked them up. I know since they're Levi's and they're new at tags, I shouldn't not have a hard time selling them and they're corduroy. So, and they're black. So who doesn't want a black pair of corduroys, especially Levi's? Um, I don't know if they're old or not. They might even be vintage. I know that white tag is usually on corduroy. Let me see. Levi's are usually they'll say made in USA. It has an old, it has a newer tag, so it's it's definitely not. There are 34, 34. Made in Cambodia. A lot of ways you can tell what Levi's. Of course, most people know to look for the big E. Whenever you see the E, if it's a, if it's a big E, I'm giving you guys the finger. I'm sorry. Let me see. If that right there, if the E is a capital letter E, then you got money right there. You got to look inside them. They might either be the LVCs, the Levi's Vintage Company, or those were remade, I think, in the 70s. And then back before then is when, and sometimes you'll see rivets inside here. I'm kind of getting off subject, but I'm trying to teach you guys a little bit of something that I've learned from watching videos. Inside here, where the where the um, where the seams are, you can't really see that because they're black. But where the seams are, right here, where the back of the pocket is, where the pockets are sewn, inside there'll be metal. There'll be metal rivets. If you got rivets on the outside of Levi's, then you you got a good pair as long as they're old. If they're an older pair, and zipper is a big way to tell older jeans. Levi's had makes their own zippers now. This is a Levi zipper. If you look at the zipper you see that it you can't really see that see yeah this is a terrible camera it really is it's not that good can you see that you can't even see that no focus nothing anyway it's a Levi zipper um, if it says Talon or um, I think the other one is is gripper zipper I think it's gripper zipper that's really old too all right so probably like 35 for them excuse you <laughs> don't want to talk to you man that, the people that call you with with spam they use local numbers now go figure right all right so i think this was the suit okay all right so i picked this up today i believe i may have past this before this is glenn this is glenn plaid whenever you see that them little checks in there that's glenn plaid it also has a window pane in the back kind of yeah it has window pane this thing has everything going on with it it's gray um it's a silk blend that was the first thing i looked at i was like let me look at the material it feels kind of soft no it's a cashmere blend it's like five percent cashmere Okay, where are we at here? We are not finding the tag. It's in this pocket. All right. It is, yep, 95, it's 5%. It's a 42 regular, it's my size. It is, let me see, if you can see that, if I can get it there, you can't even see it, God. See that? Not really. I'm gonna start using my phone because the, apparently, Go that way. Go that way. Thank you. Uh, all up in my business. Get. Thank you. Man, you would think it would be my kids interrupting me. It's not. It's my animals. It's my pets. They don't need to be near my clothes. See what they're doing? I have no way to keep them out, too, because my kids will just open the door. Here's the pants of those um whenever you buy suits i do a lot of suits because there's a lot more money in suits um usually they ship under ten dollars you can i can put a suit into a in a flat rate envelope or a flat rate legal envelope because they're a little bit longer if you guys don't know about them check out usps.com and uh, everything's there you want to look inside i mean i know it's something that you probably don't want to do but you have to look inside because sometimes there's little there's little accidents inside the pants and you don't want that 
Okay, as nasty as it sounds, you don't want to get a suit home and it's it's all stained up. I mean, that goes for any type of clothing, you know. So if there's those type of stains, get out of here. Thank you. Got rid of him. Huh? He needed a little bit of um, a, a little oomph. So here's the pants. He's my baby though. He's always up my butt. It's always bothering me. He loves me. Okay, now this is another one that you want to look for. This is the J. Crew. This is the Ludlow. I passed this jacket up before. I have no idea why. Like I said, I was sleeping that day. I must have been sleeping because I didn't pick this up. Um, it's probably linen. Tassuti Carpini made in Italy. I didn't even see that, so that's even better. It is a linen blend. It's linen and wool. And then it's rayon lined. It's just a just a regular old gray. Um, I believe that this is a sport coat. It's not a blazer. A blazer will have the metal buttons. It has different color buttons. I guess you could you might be able to wear it as a blazer. This is more of a sport coat. It's not a suit jacket. It's definitely not a suit jacket, but the Ludlows go for good money. They go for probably like $80 if you want to sit on it and wait, if you're patient. Okay, so I had a little bit more to spend, so I figured um, I have to invest in my business, have like, you know, no money to do anything else but invest in my business because I have to keep... The, the money that's going out has to be coming in. That's how your business has to work. So, um, it's the Brooks Brothers. It's just a regular, regular Brooks Brothers, but it looks black. It's black and it's got the buttons. It's got the gold buttons. Gold buttons on the sleeve. This is a blazer. You know, every man needs a nice blazer and it's got the, it's got the, the sheep. Their little insignia on the on the sleeves. That's what you want. You want that on them. So this will go for a little bit more. It's black. I'm not sure if black is better than the than the navy blue, but um, I wasn't gonna leave that. I had to grab that. So I did get another one. This one's a Joseph A. Bank. This is also a blazer. This is also a blazer. See, I hate when they throw my clothes in a bag like that because they wrinkle them up. But this has like silver buttons on it, silver tone. And this is also, or this is, this is a signature gold. So, I mean, it's not like a super great find, but maybe like 60, 70 bucks. Something like that. Not bad, not bad. I, I think blazers, I think I got them at the Goodwill. Yeah, I, I got all of them at the Goodwill. The suit was $12.95. Um, that Joseph A. Banks suit will probably go for a decent amount. And the Ludlow, J. Crew, and the Brooks Brothers, and the Joseph A. Banks Signature Gold, they were all like $7.95. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. So I'll, my return on them should be really good. I've never seen this Patagonia before. This is just, it was actually in men's. If you can see that label, just Patagonia. Patagonia is a really, really strong brand, a really good brand to pick up. It's just a regular jacket. I was looking these jackets up and they were selling for like $70. So I'm like, this is probably newer Patagonia because obviously it is newer because the, it's not sewn on, it's printed on. And like tags are kind of like, um, what do you want to call it, uh, <clears throat> obsolete now because nobody wants the tag. I, I got these old champions, I think maybe from Foot Locker, and they do, have, they do have the tag on them. It doesn't really bother me. It's kind of soft, so I haven't ripped them off. I, I got a black one and a, and, a, um, and a red one, but it's just a regular sweater you know full zip it, it has some stretch to it so it's probably got some nylon in it maybe somebody wore the heck out of it because it's the tag is like just worn down 
So as long as it has the size on it, it's a large, it's definitely a woman's, that's not a men's. And it's like a purple color, like plum, so there's no way. Okay, this, I was very happy about this. I was looking at some of the comps, and because that this is a herringbone, okay, it's a herringbone, it's a tweed, which I'm going to have to move my tweeds really fast because it's going to start, well, I guess it's cold somewhere, right? You know what they say. Um, it's definitely cold, just like they say it's 5 o'clock somewhere, it's cold somewhere too. Alright, um, it's a Joseph A. Bank, and get this. Boom! It's a Harris Tweed. It's one. It's the first time I've ever found a Joseph A. Bank Harris Tweed. So um, I'm going to shoot for 80, 80 or more. I'm probably going to list it high, like 125. It's in great condition. The buttons are still. The buttons are wooden and they're they're painted. And a lot of times the painted buttons. When you look at the buttons, a lot of times when you see those buttons, the paint's coming off them. Sometimes I paint them um, if they're black, if I have that color. I have a lot of paint. Whenever I see things in a thrift store that I can use in my business, I'll pick it up. Because it's cheaper for me to buy it while I'm out sourcing in a thrift store than it would be to buy it online. So I just wish I, every time I, I seen ink today and they were all 60 And they were like $10. And I pay 15 I pay $20 online for one cartridge of black 61 HP and $30 for for a pack of two so it's like it had to be 60 I wonder if I could have just shoved it in there and made it work all right so that's Joseph A bank Harris Tweed that's a banger okay I went I was looking at the ties and I didn't really see any ties I always look for high-end ties like Brioni um, um, Turnbull and Asser it's a funny name for a company but it's a really high-end high-end tie um there's Brioni, Turnbull. Um, there's a, I mean, Armani is like, depending on which ones you find, Prada, um, Gucci. Um, what's the other one? So I did find a lot of hair. I, I didn't even look this up. All I looked up was because I didn't see the inside of the hat. This is an L.L. Bean. I'm going to hide that because I don't want you to see it. All right, this is an L.L. Bean. You can see the tag. This is an L.L. Bean. It's just a regular regular hat I guess you could form it put it on your head but it's a Harris tweed and it's a Gore-Tex so I'm thinking that this is has to be at least a $50 hat <clears throat> excuse me I paid five bucks for it I normally wouldn't pay five dollars for a hat sometimes I will if I know that there's money in the hat if I can get more than thirty or forty dollars <throat> for the hat I got a tickle. All right. Um, where's the other one? Okay. All right, I did look this brand up too. This is waxed. I just picked up a, a another coat that was waxed. I, I'm I'm guessing that waxed is good for rain. Um, I'm not sure what the other brand was. It may be an, It might have been an L.O. Bean. I think it was an was it an L.O. Bean. I forget. But it was another jacket that was waxed. And this is. This is a brand, this is a good brand, this is a brand called Barber. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce that, it's Barber. It is, this isn't old, but it says right there, it has the size and it says wax cap. Can you see that? No, you can't because my camera's crap. Wax cap. It's just, uh, this is a cabbie newsboy. I guess that's what you would call that, like a Kangol, you know. So, not bad for two hats. And this one I think was five two, four ninety nine. They priced these a little bit higher than than the than regular hats like fitteds like this or you know just snapbacks. I think because I don't think all hats are five. I think they're two. Okay, so here's another good brand. When you see it, pick it up. This is a Foot Joy. There's the tag. Usually you'll see the tag in the front, like that. On the inside, the size will be right here. Whenever you see Foot Joy, right, right there. Uh, can you see that? It would look like it's not like some like a um, copyright, but it's not. It's the size. Um, 
I heard somebody else talking about that, but yeah, I already knew that from seeing them so many times. And they'll always, most most of the time, I believe probably all the time, have that in the back. But it's really cool. It's a long sleeve golf. It's a nice little pullover jacket. It's a half half zip. That's really cool. I'm I'm thinking at least thirty or more for this. Um, what did I pay for it? I think it was considered a jacket, so it was probably like five and a quarter. I think jackets are five twenty-five, unless they're leather, then they're like ten or twenty dollars. <throat> so with all I got there, I spent I spent a total of ten dollars. I spent ten bucks. That was the goodwill. I got that jacket, so it was five. One was, it, it combined into five. I didn't really see anything else, but I did see these. Boom. These are, this is what is considered new old stock. Um, these are brand new Tommy Hill figure. These are, they're board shorts. I believe they have the string inside them. They're not lined. There's the string. I believe that these are swimming trunks. These are board shorts. That is the old label. I don't know if they're remaking these and using the old box label, but that's the old that's the old box label. So I'm pretty sure that these are vintage. Um, it would be called this would be called dead stock or new old stock. So anytime you see N O S in a in a title, here's my opinion on titles. I believe that you should just be blunt and to the point with your title that this would be I was thinking about what I was gonna say too before before um vintage 90s you know maybe you could put NOS new old stock um Tommy Hill figure green board short these aren't board shorts these are just swimming trunks swimming trunks shorts um, you could put the inseam in. A lot of people do that. The inseam is probably like six, like six inches, five, something like that. You can do that. That that's helpful. Sometimes people want to know that these are short, um, new with tags, NWT. I mean, a lot of the things that you put in your title are going to be in your description. So as long as they're somewhere in your draft when you're creating your your listing, as long as they're somewhere, then you're good to go. Now, eBay's getting ready to add more item specifics. I just can't wait for that. They already screwed up all our listings. Now they're going to do it again. Maybe they should reimburse us this time. I believe you can call in and tell them and complain, and they will give you a free month. Don't quote me on that, but I should have did that. I really should have because, you know, that's ridiculous. Okay, so I really did... This I'm going to look up. Once again, thank you, Thrift Fever. I believe you showed me this brand. I do watch a lot of people. This is called a... This is called a... a, a um, I believe this is called a, a, a speckled speck. It's a herringbone. When you see all the different colors inside of the... This is a tweed. All the those different colors in there. There's yellow. There's red. There's blue. This is a gorgeous coat. Like this is an awesome sport coat. Whenever I find them like this, I ha I have to pick this up. You know how much time was probably put into making this. A lot of time. I can respect that something like this with it with the quality. Um, I believe it's called speck speckled, um, or fleck, maybe fleck, but it's the brand. Is called McGee, McGee, Kevin, and Hallen. And then I I remembered this when I opened it up and I looked inside and I seen that big label. When I seen this label, I knew it was definitely something special. Can you see? Can you see that? What does it say? I'm gonna have to read it out. It says Donegal Tweed, hand woven, Kevin and Hallen, J.J. Campbell. This. It says this tweed was hand woven from pure new wool in my small cottage in country Donegal, Ireland. Like, I mean, yeah, I, I think that I have some money right here. I got to look this up and do a little bit more research. But I believe that this this is worth a good bit. 
and it's awesome and it's in fantastic condition like it may not even have really been worn the the pockets are open it was definitely worn all the pockets are open you're in good shape there's no holes this thing's in great condition it would have been awesome if it would have had elbow patches that would have been awesome all the buttons are there it's a three button too I mean not it's not so popular right now but an older gentleman is probably gonna buy this so really good haul today really good I'm actually I'm very satisfied with the haul absolutely satisfied Okay, make sure there's no receipts in the bags. Woo! Nobody in there. Alright, so. These were. They were $6. $5.99. Once again, thank you, Thrift Fever. These are called Vionic. This is a great brand. I passed these up the last time I was there. I'm an idiot, I'm telling you. Um, it was because I didn't have, I didn't have a lot of money at the time and I was trying to, I was kind of on a budget. When you have a little bit of, um, expendable, not necessarily expendable, but, but extra income to get a few things, you should jump, definitely jump on them because these are going to sell for well over 40, $50. These are new. These are like, they don't even look like they were worn. They're not, there's no, there's really no signs of wear on these at all. I don't even have to clean them. The insides are like, they're perfect. There's the inside. You got the tag inside, the size. They're not even rubbed off. Like this right here. There it is. They're in really good condition. And it's a really cool, that's a really cool pattern. It's almost like a croc or alligator or whatever. That's awesome. Um, I'll have to check them out a little bit more. Maybe they are. They're probably just like a man-made material. I might look up the model number. It might show differently. So, not a bad find. These I took a chance with. When you buy shoes, you got to make sure that they're that they're not all worn out like the soles. These are pretty straight, pretty good. Um, I'm learning a lot from you guys online. I really appreciate all of you people that I'm learning from, I definitely appreciate. Look at the design on these. The brand is called Meslin. They are Meslin. They are they're all wood, all wood bottom. They're they're bench made. They have nails in them. They're all bench made. Um, some of these can sell for really high, and some of them are like kind of just there in the thirty dollar range. These are really, really nice. I barely even have to even touch these up. I might have to just put a little bit of, you know, throw some throw some stuff around the sides. But as far as the rest of the shoe, the rest of the shoe is gorgeous. Look at that design, dude. Damn, bruh. They're nice. They are nice. They're dope. They are really dope. What size are they? Ah, nine and a half. I'm, in, I'm like a ten and a half, eleven. These were $7.99. You know, I think I could have got these half off the other day, and I passed on them. Sometimes when you search for stuff on your phone, you don't always get... You have to be real specific when you search. I think these had... These have a... I think they have a... Yeah. They have a name. Some shoes will have... They'll have like a name. Let me see if we can get that in there. Can you see that? It's like Vicente... Something like that. We'll get it right. There it is. Vicente. Vicente. That's probably how you pronounce it. It's probably Italian. These are probably made in Italy. I think they are. Vero. Meslin Vero. QEO or something. I think they have numbers all over them. Man. They were probably worked on. That was probably from the the cobbler that was working on them. So they've already been they've already been in the shop getting the oil change. Okay, so here's a pair of Brooks. Anytime you see Brooks, you should probably pick them up. These are in great condition. A little bit of dirt 
I can get that dirt right out of that for the most part when I clean these they're gonna look awesome they'll be they'll be in great shape these are Brooks they are the launch five these sell for really really good when you find Brooks a lot of times people will dirt them they will dick them up and there will be holes they'll be usually the holes will be in here they'll be right in the front from them you know I don't know maybe people think they can run and they can't run and they trip over curbs and put big holes in them but I and mean, you gotta do the Tino the sole advisor you gotta do the flex um yeah when you pick them up oh I didn't see that they are worn right here I did not see that see everybody makes mistakes now I'm not gonna get as much for them because of that right there I did not even see that Where'd he go? I don't know. Putty cats. They're all around me. The other ones are probably locked upstairs. Okay, so what do we spend? What do we spend there? Alright, it was twenty dollars and twenty-five cents. I believe at this goodwill. I only spent I think it was only like twenty bucks. So these this is not I mean Clarks is a really good brand now any other time I see these take the tag off they were just put out whenever you take a tag out and it falls right out of the shoe that means they were just put on the shelf they just tagged them because if something's sitting for a long time the moisture and everything will get to somebody probably tried these on these are Clarks I did look up this model I just put that number in when I looked them up. You can do that with any brand. I'm not going to say specific brands. I don't want to talk about certain brands. But see that little that little model number right there? That's the model number of the shoe. Just type in. I just typed in Clark's on my on eBay on the app. You can Google it, whatever. But this is why I picked them up. These are brand new. These still have the stickers on the bottom of them. They were never worn. Like I said, they may have been tried on. They may be a floor model. They might have been in the store, but they're just a little dusty. So these I'm um, new without tags. These are 55 or more. So you see what I paid for them. I paid seven bucks. It'll probably cost seven to ship, eight to ship. I don't know because I'm not going to pay for the shipping. I'm going to charge shipping because these are going to go in a box. These are too big. You can't squeeze these in an envelope or. They're too big. Some shoes, like like size six or seven, you can put them in a padded envelope. <clears throat> I even put shoes in inside of um one of my wrap them in padding and put them in a flat rate to ship them for you know seventy five cents cheaper. Any way you can save money, but don't don't try to save money to lose. Yeah, they're a little. They got some chunks in them. yeah it looks like they got so these are like these will be like new with just like light defects they got like a little see that little chunk right there that's nothing they're not a real high-end shoe it's not like they were gonna sell for 200 bucks or something so it's not a big deal so but all this when I pick up shoes now I try to pick up shoes where I don't have to clean them I just don't have time to clean anymore I don't have time to clean shoes I really don't you know, you either do or you don't, and I just don't have that time to do all that. Okay. I don't know what I spent today. Okay, this was... I spent a decent amount at that one. That was 68. So, 68. That's 100 right there. So, all together... It was a, I spent 110 and that's what I spent yesterday. So, and I'm done because now I'm broke and I have to list all this stuff. Okay. Here we have another Joseph A. Bank. This is, this is another, I don't think this is a Glen plaid. It's like a window pane. It's kind of like a blue. It's just a blue plaid. It's really nice. That's why I picked it up. Um, they must have just put this out. I didn't see this before, but this I'm guessing this is this is a sport coat. 
or maybe a blazer. It's not a, I don't think it's a blazer, but it's a signature gold. And the material was another reason why I bought it. It's a signature gold and the material is, I'll show you. It's a silk blend. It's silk and wool. That's what, that's a weird combination, isn't it? 54% silk and 46% wool. That's definitely, we think that this one would have been made in Italy, but it's made in Mexico, man. Okay, that didn't sound Mexican, did it? Sorry, I don't mean to offend anyone. I'm just being funny. But, um, hey, I'm Italian. I'm a WAP. My name is Rocco. Come on. All right, so, excellent haul. I'm going to get all this stuff listed. I'm going to take it over over to the um, to my, my photo area. I'm going to photograph everything. I'm going to put everything on mannequins and get everything ready to be listed. I'm going to look up that blazer because um, I'm definitely sure that that blazer has a has significant value. Okay, I did forget probably like like eight pairs of shoes. I'm not going to put them in. I'm probably going to put them in another video. But anyway, guys, thanks for, for uh, watching my video and checking out all my stuff. And I hope you like what you see and um, you got some, some sort of inspiration out of this video and some type of confidence to go out there and look for those things that are out there. Make sure you always have your phone on you to um, use as your tool to look up um, things while you're out in the field. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.